Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. This video is my long-term test of my City Adventure Gore-Tex motorcycle boots. So I bought these boots in 2014, seems a long time ago now, um, and I've ridden them in a lot of places around the world. I took them on my trip to Ladakh in northern India where I rode in the Himalayas. They've also uh, followed me to Bolivia where I did a couple of thousand kilometers uh, on-road and off-road um, the, on the high plains over there. And, and I still have them. Um, the reason I bought them in the first place was that my first pair of boots was a pair of City B2 touring boots, which were, I, know, I guess they more, look more like a race boot, uh, but they were Gore-Tex and they, you know, they didn't have quite as much protection on them. So, because those fitted me when I was looking for something a bit more substantial to take to India, um, these kind of came up as being the, the, the boots to get. So I took a chance on them. They did fit my feet really well. And here I am today, seven years on and I've still got them. So I'll give you a very quick uh, look at them. Um, hopefully they, they're not too dirty, but um, hopefully you can still see what, what they're like. The sole on the underside looks more like something you'd get uh, on a walking boot than on a motorcycle boot. Um, it's uh, got quite a lot of ankle support. This, the, all this area up through here is quite rigid. Um, there's just two clips to do it up, plus this big um, sort of Velcro strip that goes around the top. So there's the Velcro. Uh, they are really easy to do up. Um, and to, to get undone. So when you've got to the end of a really long day riding and everything aches and everything hurts, it's, you know, you've got to bend over to undo them, but you know, they're easy enough to get off. They're made of Gore-Tex, so they are waterproof. Um, these are seven years old and they are still waterproof. You know, I can stand sort of up to about here, up to my shin in them, and they, they, they don't leak at all. I've almost been waiting for them to start leaking, um, but so far so good, which was kind of a surprise, but you know, you, 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 you buy good stuff and then it really does last. Uh, the last thing is, uh, is just on the back and it's just a tiny thing. There's these little sort of 3M reflector um, things. So, you know, when you're riding on your bike, it's just an extra thing to just send a bit of light back. Why do I think these are great? Why did I think they're worth doing a video on? Well, it's the fact that I have had them for seven years um, and that they, I mean, they don't look new. Uh, I have cleaned them recently and I put some, some leather treatment on them so they look a bit better than they might have done otherwise. But for boots that are seven years old, I, you know, I'm amazed that they're still doing as well as they are. I mean, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of the sole, um, especially where I've been doing some gear shifts on there. Uh, but on the whole, they're still in pretty good condition. Um, they're quite tall, but they're not motocross boot tall. So if you're going to be riding somewhere where you, you know, where you want to have a bit more than you'd get from a from another boot, but you don't want the discomfort of having motocross boots on, then I, then I think they're ideal. And they can be resold. Uh, these haven't needed it yet, but I kind of feel like maybe in the next year or so, I'm gonna have to get them, them resold. And so that would, I guess, give them another lease of life and I'd have them for a while longer. Um, they're really easy to put on and off. Now that might seem like a slightly odd thing to say, but the fact that when you take this Velcro off um, and you undo the, undo the clips, it is just such a big space to get your, to get your foot, foot into. Um, there's this sort of loop on the back that's easy to get a couple of fingers into, uh, you know, for actually just pulling them on. And they're just really comfy. I mean, okay, I think you have any pair of footwear for, for seven years and they are gonna shape to your feet. But, you know, I can wear these all day. I mean, they look quite big. They're like putting on slippers. Um, and I, I don't think twice about wearing these all day, uh, whether I'm trail riding around the Peak District or I'm doing a long tour. With all these videos, I'm also trying to pick out what's bad about them. And this was really hard with these boots. Uh, I'm really struggling to find anything that I don't like about them. And, you know, to even to do a video about boots, I suppose you have probably have to like them quite a lot. So if I'm being picky, when I got them, they squeaked a bit. Uh, I think quite a lot of boots squeak and it's anything that's got sort of moving plastic pieces at the back, which these do have. I can't remember what I sprayed in. I think I put some silicon lube in and then they were fine. And I think I had to do it a second time. But now they're, you know, they don't have that annoying squeak when you're walking around. But I think that really is the only thing um, bad about them. I mean, the, the fact that they are big, but not too big, I mean, you still get a lot of feel. Uh, I don't need to adjust the, um, the gear lever or the brake lever on my bikes um, when I'm riding with these. And when I wear my motocross boots, uh, I do find that I do need to, turn, uh, to, to change the position just so I can get my toe under it. They're just flexible enough that you can easily walk in them and you can easily access the controls, but without you know, cause any discomfort uh, because of it. I have had one failure on the boots and it's on this one. I don't know if you can see on there, but it has actually been glued around there. Uh, while I was away in Bolivia in 2017, um, I think it was maybe six or seven days in, 
uh, we've been riding on a lot of rocky trails, a lot of gravel, um, and it actually started to come apart a little bit at the front. I was a bit annoyed at the time, especially as I'd scooped up a bit of gravel inside it, but that evening I was able to glue it up and I thought when I get home I'll get them resold. And actually it's been four years since I did that. Used them quite a lot through that time and it's still holding firm. I mean maybe when I go to get them resold the company that does them will comment that they were harder to get off because I glued them back on. But that really is the only problem that I've had since 2014 with these boots. So in conclusion I think these are the best pair of boots that I've ever owned. Uh, Unfortunately, City don't make them anymore, but they do make an improved version. Not quite sure how they could improve on it, but I'm sure they've done something called the City Adventure 2 Gore-Tex boots. Um, they're really comfortable. Uh, they stay waterproof for a long time. I uh, still don't know how long they'll be waterproof for. Um, and the maintenance I do on these boots is I clean them a couple of times a year. You know, I rinse the mud off. Uh, I put some, I think it's called Renapur. It's like a, a sort of a leather treatment on the leather parts of the boots. So these boots definitely still have some more life in them. They're definitely my go-to boot. I have a few pairs of motorcycle boots and these are definitely my favorites. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that they're gonna make it to 10 years and then I'll get them resold and then we'll see how long they last after that. So City Adventure Gore-Tex boots, uh, I definitely recommend them. You can't buy these anymore, but I'm sure the Adventure 2s are just as good, if not better. The one caveat I would say is if you have feet that are the right shape for city boots, then I'm sure you'll get on with these. If you have a different foot shape, now my feet are quite wide, and someone had told me that city are traditionally quite quite narrow. I don't know if that's true, uh, but for me, I just found these really comfortable, same as my B2s. Uh, if you put them on and city boots really don't fit your feet, then it doesn't matter what I say about how good they are and how comfy they are, they're probably not gonna be the boots for you. But, you know, if you have an opportunity, if you're looking for something like this, you want something that's not a full-on motocross boot, that is a bit more than a road boot, uh, just for walking around and using, then I would definitely recommend them. So I hope this has been interesting and useful. If it has, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.